The rice planting demonstration exercise is a strategy under the system of rice intensification introduced by CSR Sari with support from its partners. It's aimed at addressing the challenges facing the smallholder rice farmers, including low yields, production costs, among others. As part of the demonstration exercise, farmers were taken through the nursery and transplanting methods of rice cultivation. The project manager under the Integrated Agriculture Productivity Improvement and Marketing Project, Azim Kakao Buedu, said there is a need for farmers to learn new methods of farming. Here in the north, most of the farmers do broadcasting. And the broadcasting, there are two types. Sometimes they will plow and then do the broadcasting. Other times, they will broadcast before plowing. And these are two dangerous practices. The reason is that once you broadcast, you have no control where the seed is going to lie. And therefore, some of the seeds get crowded together at one place, whilst in another place, they are sparse. And so you don't have even plant population. The other one where they they broadcast before plowing. That is even the worst because in that case you can bury the seed too deep and therefore the seed is going to use a lot of energy to emerge and by the time it emerges all the energy has been exhausted and so the plant becomes very weak. Now we are demonstrating to them that it is better to nurse your seeds and do transplanting. In that case you know that your seeds have germinated, they are of good um, growth, and then you transplant them one at a stand. And once you are doing that transplanting, they are not crowd overcrowded. And so the plant is able to tiller. Tillering means that they are able to produce more shoots and that gives you better yield. He further explained the benefits of practicing the system of rice intensification. Laborious, it takes time. But the end result is better. It will pay off um, the drudgery or the difficulty that you go through in lining and then doing the transplanting. You can get as much as 30 bucks per acre. Whilst they're broadcasting, they are getting 6 bucks, 8 bucks. The maximum they can get is 10 bucks per acre. Some rice farmers who participated in the field demonstration said, although the process is tedious and time-consuming, they are optimistic of getting good yields if they adopted it. From Waliwale, Wale, Noanash, for Vasawa News.